Good day, it's me, Nelka again, and I'm here to answer one of another question. <laughs> She's asking how to render some photos after I finish my facade lighting on Dialux Evo. Okay, so she's asking um, how to create or how to get a photo with her facade lighting. I will show you one of my creation. This is House in the Hill. I did this project for the Dialux Evo competition. If you want to see this on the competition, please click the link below and please also vote for me <laughs> one vote is really important to me because I think it's an iPad the price is an iPad so if it's okay with you to to click and like it it means you will vote it for me and that means I have the possibilities to get this wonderful iPod okay this is my project Based on her question, she asked how to take a photo on this one and maybe she will use it for the presentation. So what I'm going to do is I will show you how to ray trace. Here, let's go to this calculation tab. This is the ray trace tab. But before ray tracing the picture or the image or the view, it is better for you to create views. If you are passionate in lighting, you must also be passionate in photography it's like talent where you need to have sometimes people are they don't know but they have the talent in taking the view or the angle so if you have that then it means you have at least a slight talent in photography for example this one this is your view okay let's go back to your question now let's prepare this now okay this is your View. you think this is perfect view for you so you want to to render this one if you move your object like if you move like this you will miss that view so better for you to save that view and how you can do that is by clicking this view stub and click this one save new view okay and then you will name it as for example angle view so you will not forget and then enter so every time for example you rotate it like this and oh my god you say ah oh, I want to see that view again you just have to go to these tabs and click this angle view and it will immediately go to that view again okay again for example again you want to create this view and you want to render this and you want to reserve this kind of view if you think this view is perfect for your requirement it's like showing the elevation, the light, the mini room here, the floodlight here, behind the stone, a little grass here, and the horizon of this little hill. Then you may save this view. Again, go to this tab, save new view, and then name it as, for example, elevation view. Okay, let's name it Elevation View with Rack. And then if you lost that view, because you're doing something or you're putting something, then if you want to see that view again, just go to this tab and click it. It will immediately go to this view. I have saved all these views here, if you can see. Let's see and check. So I have the dining area, the entrance, far ISO, if you can see here, it's so far. So I create these views. So if I want to create a picture on these views, then I can easily click and then ray trace or yeah, I also have this view. This one is from this elevation. This is rendering view and this is the 2D view. So I also created a 2D view. So you can create um, views from the rendering view and from these 2D views. Okay. So for example, this front view. So I have this front view, the isometric view, plan view. I also have plan view. So if I want to check, there's also a little obscure. I will say this is a monkey view because it's on the top of the tree. But I, I named it pool view. And then the rear view. And then right side with a 2D. 
Alright, so once you created your views, now you can retrace it. For example, you want to... This is, I already created before. <laughs> okay, for example, we'll go back to the views and you want your angle view to be retraced. You want this angle view to be printed, not as save as or print screen, but retraced. So this one, we will create a retrace image on this one. So just click on this tab, retrace, and then start retracing. And now you will have an option to widen or select an image. The bigger the number, the bigger the picture, and the longer it takes to uh, retrace. So let's try the small for, uh, for now, just for you to show. Let's have a 1024 by 768 pixels, a regular image or a regular picture. Okay, so let's start ray trace. Okay, it takes a, a little time. Uh, I think because of the... Sometimes it really takes time because if there are water, glass, and lots of uh, objects on the screen, then it will really take time, especially glass and water because it also creates our reflections on the glass and on the water. That's why it takes time. It's also similar to 3D Max. If you have lots of uh, mirrors or glossy surfaces in your image or in your object or in your 3D, then it really takes time. So this is now uh, ray tracing for how many percent now? And um, let's just wait. Hmm, it is taking so long. <laughs> Why it is taking so long? Ah, it is really taking so long. Mm. Okay, there you are. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so th this is now your ray trace image. And now you can save it as either JPEG or TIF or e or whatever file you want. So you can uh, see the effect. There's a, a reflection of the water and the glass is there. See, if you can see here, it's a little blurry because it's not ray traced yet. Also in the top. But if you can see here now in the ray trace view, it's a little clear and there's a if you can see here there's a distinction between a glass and a solid surface I don't know if you can see that one <laughs> but let's try in this um, swim pool yeah okay there's um if you can see here it's not ray trace but this one is a little sharp and there's a little slight reflection okay I think the angle is not a perfect example but I will do another one and you will see the difference okay let's close it for now okay so you can save it now by for, uh, for a while close it and here this is the one you created site one you will name it as yeah you can name it as angle view and then you can save this image save let's say save it and you want to save it as JPEG, PNG or BMP, either of the two, but I always do in JPEG. So let's save it like that and then say save. And then if you, if you want to open it now, you can say yes or no. Let's say let's open it. Ah, the default open is Photoshop. So, so let's close that one now and select another view so I can show you the reflection I'm talking about. So for example, I choose this one, this view, and I will say, I will save this image, save new view as one point perspective view. Okay, I named this one point perspective view. So if by accident I rotate it and I want to see it again, you just have to click that one, and then I will go back to that view. Okay, so let's go to the ray trace and start ray tracing it. Let's make it a little smaller so it will not take so much of our time. So start ray tracing and I will show you what
what is the difference or what is the good effect of a ray trace in the image. Okay, there you are. So now we have the ray trace view. See? That's this is what I'm telling you. Now the reflection <coughs> excuse me for that. The reflection of this um lights on the water is already there. See, if it's not ray traced, you will just see um, texture in the swimming pool, the, the water, and then the light from this side. But if it's a ray traced view, then you will have the reflections in the water. You can see the ball there in the glass. This is the light coming from, and you can see it here in the reflection from the glass. Also, it's a little clearer, I think so. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's more sharper and clearer, and you will have the reflections especially on the water or in the glass so that's how ray trace look like okay you now may save it save the new image into something and then name it whatever you want and then yeah so that's it I think I already answered your questions so um, you might either 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 there are two options actually you may either save a ray trace image for example in this view or you want this view or image itself you can save this view without ray trace you just have to save click this one I will say the one point view and then let's say save and let's see what it look like ah it's Photoshop okay so you have the ray trace and a regular rendered image. So either of the two. If you don't like the reflections or those ray trace image, then you may choose also a regular perspective view or a rendered view. Okay, so either of the two, either this regular image or the ray trace views. Here are the ray trace views that I've created for this project. Let's see this one. See, the ray trace is a little not so good because the grass is not sharp here. I don't know why. But here on this side is okay. Um, here also. These are some of the ray trace views that I've created. See, my wood is a little shiny. <laughs> this is wrong. I should not put glossiness or transparency in the, the mat floor material. So you, you should also know how to create a material so you will have a, a good uh, image okay let's see with this one so I've created a lot and if you want to see this one you may go to the Dialax competition Evo and please also don't forget to like so I will have my new iPad <laughs> okay so thank you very much and by the way I will show you the Dialax Evo competition. This is the Dialax Evo competition I'm telling you. So I now have 35 likes and my competitors has oh this is 15, 12. Oh my god. He has or yeah, he has 492 likes now. And this one is 1174. Oh my gosh. I think I'm too far from them. <laughs> And this one is 29, so I have more. This one is only 12. This one has 13. This one has 27. Also 13. And he has 108. Oh, goodness gracious. But you can see, Dialax Evo Competition said that it's a combination of indoor and outdoor lighting, but this one doesn't have an indoor combination, so I don't think it's fit. <laughs> Okay, anyways, I will let the judges judge it. This one also doesn't have indoor and out light blending. This one, wait, he has 49. This one, 20, and I only have 35 or 36, 37, 38, 39. So, uh, if you like also to see this Dialux Facebook account, you can go and like it. So, you will also um, familiar or get updated on what they have right now. So please don't forget to like my image so I will win the iPad. Okay, thank you very much and 
See you again next time. Bye.